It's time now for Focus. Today, coming to you from Thailand. Now, the country's former Prime Minister was overthrown ten months ago, banned from politics for five years, and is now facing prison on corruption charges. Yingluck Shinawat's fate is part of a long-running battle between the Thai elite allied with the army and the powerful Shinawat clan led by her billionaire brother. The country is currently ruled by a military junta, but our reporters have found that many Thais reject their legitimacy and that the former Prime Minister is increasingly becoming a pro-democracy icon for some. Cyril Payan and Doug Moore report. Nine months after the coup in Thailand, the People's Library has been allowed to reopen. Founded by Mr. Kampu ten years ago, it is a red-shirt propaganda tool dedicated to the glory of the Shinawat family. My first contact with this family, well, the day I met Taksin, I immediately felt that this man had a real vision for the country. I realized that his desire was to raise Thailand and to improve our lives and to make every effort to put our country at the forefront. The Shinawat family and its allies have won every election for 15 years and have provided five prime ministers to the country. Ying Luck, the latest prime minister, was removed in a coup and banned from politics for five years. She's now facing 10 years in prison. The meaning of the Xie Kong is to eradicate the Shinawat uh, family from politics. Eradicate the uh, Thai political party from the politics. Eradicate the, the red shirt. You understand me? Eradicate totally. Indeed, the military seems obsessed with the Shinawats. But in working class communities across Thailand, a silent majority supports the family, especially Taksin. I do not know if Taksin can return home in the current context. It's difficult. We're just waiting. I really think he wants to return to fight back, but we would need a miracle for that to happen. In spite of martial law, Thailand is more divided than ever. Mr. Charn's district reflects the reality of the country, a deeply polarized nation. It has been a long time that Mr. Charn and A, both neighbors and childhood friends, have spoken to each other. Everyone tries to mind their own business in the area. But it's true that sometimes it's tense between us. We often have radically different views. Here's Chawit Kemal Visit, one of the most outspoken Thai politicians. A former Bangkok brothel czar turned MP, he states bluntly what few will dare to discuss. Taksin is a cause, you know? Why he become a cause? He used to have a power, he used to be successful, he used to have money. So everybody afraid of him. Everybody afraid what he success again. If Ying Lak playing a good role, she can become the Aung San Suu Kyi of Thailand. What happened? If she fight for the democracy, if she fight with the dictator. What is the future of the country after nearly a decade of political turmoil? Will pro and anti tax and rivals ever manage to reconcile? It appears there is a long way to go. The cause of all our troubles is taxin. He had the arrogance to try to change everything. He failed, but he can't accept it, and he never gives up. It's his character that started the fire in this country. No, Taksin is not the problem. The problem is the system, the corruption. Yes, that I agree with. Politicians are getting richer and we have to pay the price. After nine months in power, the military junta is closer than ever to ending the Shinawat era. It remains to be seen if this will reunite the people of Thailand.